going to be learning how to draw arr, some pirate ships. You're going to want to get your paper ready to draw so you can follow along with me. I'm going to start with a pencil and then I'm going to trace my lines with a sharpie. So you might want to just follow along with the pencil steps, then watch the rest of the video and finish your own picture after you watch it. I'm going to start drawing my ship by making a wavy line. That's where the water hits the bottom of the ship. Then I'm going to do a diagonal line for the front of the ship and more of a straight line for the back of the ship. I'll go up a little bit more and then over and back down. Then I'm going to go horizontally and I'll make another little step up and over. Then I'll add this front piece here. I don't know much about ships so I don't know what this part is called. Sometimes they would have sculptures of mermaids on them. If this boat shape is hard for you and you're struggling, don't be afraid to start over and just make a rectangle shape. You don't need to make it quite this fancy. I'll add all of these windows here. Also, remember you can pause this video whenever you need to to catch up. I'm going to make three big poles. I'll start with one over on the left. These are going to hold our sails up. These old fashioned clipper ships have a lot of sails on them. So we'll do one pole on the left. This one in the middle. And then one on the right. Now we're going to make the sails. To make the sails, you're just going to make two curved lines, one for the bottom of the sail and one for the top, and then you're going to connect those with two more curved lines for the sides. Then you can use your handy eraser to just erase that pole that we drew before because the sail would cover it up. The pole is behind the sail. So we'll do that again on this second sail. The same thing. I'll also add a little flag here. I'll add three sails up on this taller pole. Don't forget to erase the poles because they're behind the sails. I think I'll just do one big sail on this pole. Erase the pole in the background. And I'll add a little special flag here. You can come up with a symbol for your ship. I'm not sure what I want my ship to symbolize yet, so I'll leave it blank for now. Now I'm going to get into a few more details. A lot of these ships also had a lot of ropes to help raise the sails, so I'm going to draw some ropes that go from this middle sail down to this corner of the boat. You can try to make them go behind the sail like this, 
but you can also draw them right on top of the sail and practice that erasing again so that it looks like they go behind the sail later on. I'll make some more of these ropes over here. Let's make one more special sail in the front. So I'll start with another pole. Maybe I'll add a little lookout basket for somebody. And then just a little triangle here for a sail. You can add a pattern to your sails if you want. I'm gonna make mine just stripes. And there's my ship. Now let's show some water. Let's start on one edge of the page and draw a line of water that goes all the way to the other side. If it goes behind the boat, make sure you stop and pop your pencil onto the other side. Then you can just add a bunch of wavy lines all over the place because this ship is in the ocean. There are a lot of waves. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space for a mermaid. You don't have to do a mermaid, but if you want to, leave some space for it. I think I'll put my mermaid over in the corner here. At this point in the video, you can stop drawing, put your pencil down, and just watch the rest of the video to get some ideas. I want you to use your imagination to add some details to your picture you can add those details after you watch the rest of the video. In my picture, I'm gonna add a mermaid here. I made a simple fin. Here's her belly and arms and some hair. Belly button and some texture. I'll add some pirates on the ship. And then I'm gonna trace my lines with a Sharpie. Some of you might wanna do that, but some of you might not. I'll make that a choice today. I know this is a tough drawing, so just pencil is fine. But if you like to trace and do colors, you can do that too. I like the Sharpie outline because it makes everything stand out. Remember, this drawing is something you can work on throughout the day. It doesn't have to be finished in five minutes. Take your time. I'm gonna color today using color pencils. I'll push down hard to make some of my lines look darker. Maybe I'll outline some of these waves to make them stand out too. This time I'll use a marker. I'll make it look like a sunset here. Again, if you don't wanna add color today, that's okay. But if you do like to, I'd love to see it. I hope you had fun drawing with us. <laughs>